I want to say I currently work as a Lyft driver, and I just want to back up everything everyone has said about Lyft drivers. We will not come out to the island if we're going to charge drivers both ways. We, we are only financially compensated when someone is in their car. That means that if I drop you off, I'll get compensated for the toll for dropping you off, but I'm not going to get compensated for going out the other way. That, so, yeah. That is absolutely going to be a problem with Lyft and Uber drivers. Um, and then the other issue is, like, what is the goal for charging in the future? Thank you. Thanks. Are you actually going to protect low-income people? Are you actually going to make this a place for low-income people to, to be able to live here to protect the, all the halfway houses and battery women shelters? that exists on the island currently because those people will need parking when they're in their transitionary houses and so there needs to be enough parking to go with the new units that are being built don't just build new units for the sake of having 20,000 people here if you can't actually afford to transport those people where they need to go okay.